Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. If you are a fresher watching this video, I request you to kindly ensure to watch the video till end. I assume you are a fresher if you satisfy one of these two conditions. You are passed out from the college and looking for a job or you are working in some other field and trying to move to data science. If you satisfy any of these two conditions, kindly ensure to watch this video till end. We will discuss how you prepare your resume so that it impresses the recruiter and your chances of landing a job increases. There are very common mistakes that I see in the resumes I review which freshers do quite often. We will discuss in detail what are some of the do's and some of the do nots of data science resume for freshers. Let us start the discussion guys. Before that, I want you to kindly press the subscribe button if you have not done yet and also press the bell icon so that you receive all the notification. Let us start with do nots. Okay. The very first thing I want to tell you guys, no matter you come from a mechanical engineering background or you are a Java guy or you are a SAP ABAP consultant, doesn't matter. How you should write your introduction is a data scientist. That is the job you are looking for guys, right? So imagine I go to a carpenter shop and I'm looking for a job of a carpenter and I say a painter with 80 years experience or a plumber with 80 years experience. Does that look good? No, you should write a data scientist. After that, whatever you write is different. You are looking for a data science job. Hence, you should write a data scientist. Do not write a mechanical engineer or a ABAP consultant. This is the very first mistake. Okay. Second thing guys, when you are explaining your project, right? No need to explain in big, big paragraphs. For example, there was a company and then we implemented the loan prediction and then there was data sitting here. We pulled the data. So if you write big, big paragraphs, right? It will, you know, uh, interviewer will lose the interest in reading that. Okay. Try to make it very crisp. For example, you can say XYZ bank had an issue with the loan prediction or loan failure prediction, something like this. And we help them with our machine learning, you know, capabilities. Keep it very crisp. And then when you have to explain, explain as much as you want. When interviewer asks, asks you to explain your project, you can explain it as much as you want. Okay. But in the resume, it will be short and crisp. But again, the question arises, how do you show what you have done in that project? This is very important. What you have done in that project that will go as a bullet point. Okay. Do not write that in a paragraph. There is a difference between bullet point and paragraph guys. Reading bullet points is not tiring. You would have also experienced, but reading paragraphs is a little tiring. Okay. If you want to highlight your work, you can write in bullet point saying, worked on data import from let's say big data informant, worked on creating the data pipeline, worked on cleaning the data, doing outlet treatment, missing value treatment, all these things you can write in a bullet point if you want to highlight. That is the mistake number two you should not do. Avoid long paragraphs. Okay. The third is whenever you are writing your skills guys, okay, do not write everything that you have heard of. This I keep saying to everyone. Okay. No need to write K-nearest neighbors, neighbor base, linear, logistic, neural network, RNN, CNN, all these things you write like, you know, comma, 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 comma. I feel this is my personal opinion. Some of these you might be knowing little more. Some of these you might be knowing little less in terms of, in terms of knowledge I'm saying, right? What you can do is you can create a table, okay? And say machine learning skills, beginner, intermediate and expert and you can divide your skills in these categories. Not only the algorithms, you can divide your, you can call yourself beginner in Python and intermediate in R. You can call yourself intermediate in SQL. So if you divide your skill like this, right, what will happen is interviewer will get an idea of what are your strength and what is the thing where you are starting. That is the third tip that you should avoid. Do not give similar priority to all your skills. Okay. Next thing I want to speak about is do not give lot of preference to your personal details and educational details until or unless 
there is something very exceptional in your education okay if you if you get a degree from a very renowned institute you can highlight it otherwise keep it at the end of your resume okay so this is a very common mistake from college guys actually they will put their personal details on the top before the projects also people are not too much interested in knowing your personal details people are interested in knowing what you have worked on okay so write your projects on the top in the end you can write your personal details the last but not the least of do nots guys don't copy someone else's project okay for example if one of your friend is a data scientist working in some other company you might tell him hey can you tell me what project you are working on i'll put the same project in my resume so if you do that you will not have the confidence in interview you will not be able to talk if interviewer asks something little you know away from the prepared script that you have prepared for that project and eventually you will get caught okay so don't try to put someone else's project in your resume these are some of the basic do nots what you should keep in mind now let us come to the do's part what you should do in a fresher data science resume very first thing guys do a little research on the employer so when you get a interview call or interview scheduled do a research on the employer for example what is the core business area of these guys okay and around that try to think why they might be looking for a data scientist let me give you an example let us take a internet service provider okay abc internet service provider let's say these guys call you for an interview after a week okay so from your understanding of domain or from your common sense you can think what kind of huge cases these guys might be interested in or what kind of problem they might be facing okay and out of the projects that you are mentioning in your resume bring that particular project on the top which relates to what these guys do okay which relates to what these guys do because remember the guy sitting on the other side of the interview table is looking for people who have worked in these kind of areas where the requirement is do not present something very irrelevant okay so if it's a retail organization try to highlight your use case which is you know which relates with the retail problems and retail use cases that is point number 1 point number 2 is you can also tweak your skill sets okay for example these guys if you research a little bit about your employer you will be able to understand if there is a data science team then what are the tools technologies these guys use there are some companies which use few particular tools there are some companies which use which work in some particular domain or some particular technology okay if that tool technology or domain is part of your resume anywhere try to bring that on top okay try to bring that on top if you get some time try to study around that as well next is you must present the business value that you delivered in your resume i'll give you a simple example so you built a logistic regression use case for a xyz company how this logistic regression use case helped the business what i mean to say here is let's say you built a attrition model for a company okay so you should call out very clearly in your resume that by using this model employer was able to reduce the attrition from 18% to 12% some matrices from business value point of view how was your work useful to them and keep insisting on these points when you talk more about your projects when you explain about your use case this is what interviewer wants to listen how you helped the business okay now comes the few tips which i want you to keep always in your mind guys okay i'll just give you in one line few things you should always remember first is name of the resume do not send a file called word1.doc or word1.pdf or you know any other name the resume name is very important guys if if it's my resume i will write aman kumar 9 years data science python machine learning deep learning dot pdf okay if this is little long you can shorten it you can just write aman kumar data science 9 years you can also make your resume name like this second 
try to create a PDF of your word file. Okay, PDF is easier to glance through, scroll through, look through. Okay, so try to have a PDF file. Third is uh, you should keep very good aesthetics. Do not keep something in very small, something in very large, some other format of the text, this side of the resume, some other format of the text, that side of the resume. Do not do that. Next is do not have many pages of your resume. I think two pages are enough. Some people recommend one page also. Sometimes in one page it becomes difficult to showcase your skills properly. You can make it two pages, no problem. But in my opinion, don't make it like four pages, five pages. Okay. More you will talk and less you will write in the resume. The idea here is interviewers should be having interest in going through your resume and listen to you. These things will come only when your resume is little, simple, crisp and you explain in a good way. Okay. And last point is keep it very, very simple guys. Do not add any unnecessary borders, unnecessary tables, you know, some uh, design of the text which is difficult to read. Some people I have seen they will write your email IDs on footer and head of all the pages. Once you write your email ID that's enough. Okay. And if you add unnecessary information, what will happen is the main information will get less weightage. I mean, people will, when, when they glance, right, they will just keep looking here and there. So keep it simple. These are the things you should keep in mind when you are sharing your resume with someone else. Okay. So just remember these do's and do nots for a fresher resume, guys. Try to work out your projects. Try to present your project in a good way. Tweak your resumes a little bit according to the employer you are going for and then definitely your resume is going to have a positive impact. Let me know what doubts you have guys through the comment. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then wherever you are stay safe and take care.